Hello Aquarius, it's Thursday the 18th of February today and it's our last day together. We go into Pisces readings tomorrow. So I just want to say thank you for watching. It's been a pleasure to read for you over the last month and don't forget that we also do daily angel readings so you can get your daily dose of Liz on there if you want to gain extra guidance. But it's been a pleasure and we are also doing weekly readings for you and monthly readings for you so do check them out. So I'm going to bring in two powerful decks today. We're going to use the Elemental oracle and the mythic tarot to bring a message in for you so thank you angels what do we need to know please today for aquarius and what guidance angels would you like aquarius to take forward into their day and into their year ahead as well what do you need to know what do we need to know please angels for aquarius on this day so i'm taking out anything i feel is jumping i've got one on the top moving one here as well so the message is coming out for you then. Wow, we've got the sun. So this is a reminder that you create your destiny. You know, you've got the number six there and the number six is connected with your 3D physical world. And I'm seeing this intuitively like a keyhole. So your dreams are coming true. You know, you're opening the door now to your dreams manifesting. And that's love, happiness and joy. And this is about the light here. So be the light. So the reminder for you as you move forward into this year ahead is to live in the light and to follow your light, to follow your heart and your true path in your physical world. And you'll open the doorways to miracles, to magic, to power because we've got the magic card here and this is alchemy. So you're being reminded here Aquarius that you are the alchemist of your life. You know, you are a magician, a creator of your life. The power is in your hands and you are magical and you are energy. You are connected with source and you create your dream. So this is showing you here your hands have power. You know, you have energy. So imagine now, visualize that there's a big ball of white light in your hands and you're molding it into how you want it to be. And you're setting all your intentions and you're putting all your positive thoughts into this ball of light and then you're sending it out into the universe. So you're manifesting, creating and bringing things in every day and you have potential every day to build a future, to build the future of your dreams. So take a breath and breathe life into your life. You know, this is saying to you, you breathe that life into your life the way you want it to be. So this is magic and power. So the message coming through in these cards is to achieve your dreams, to unlock your destiny, to move towards the future that you want, breathe life into your dreams with magic and alchemy by asking for what you want, by breathing it into reality, the way that Aslan breathes life into those stone people you know he blows on them in the line the witch in the wardrobe and they turn back to life you know they turn from stone back to life so this is saying to you if anything feels stuck in your life or something feels kind of stone like it's going to be reborn so this is also a message about rebirth and creation so things are being created in your life right now you have the power We've got here the Eight of Cups, so don't be afraid to walk away from anything not serving you. You know, anything you need to change. If you want to move towards a new career, a new life path, a new relationship, don't be afraid to walk away because the moon creates fear and the moon creates illusion. And this is showing you you're ready for a fresh start, you're ready for a new beginning and you're ready to create the life of your dreams and you will build it with power. You know, this is building a foundation, making things happen, support from above. So you're facing the future fearlessly, knowing that you are safe. And I feel there's a big transition between August last year and April this year, becoming more powerful, knowing that you are strong and dealing with the fear. This is the shadow side of you, you know, releasing that fear, walking into the shadows and facing them head on and being you. And not being afraid to make the right choices to bring victory in. So you're going to have the life of your dreams. You're going to show off what you're creating. Because you are powerful and strong. And they're reminding you to nourish yourself. To look after you. And to put yourself first. And that way your dreams will come true. Hey, I'm doing time for two hours. Is that okay? Yeah, of course. There you go, love. Thank you. Have a good day. 
wow, you know, powerful. This is why everything happens for a reason. So on the last day, you know, the angels are saying to you, if you do this, if you know yourself, nourish yourself and look after yourself, you're opening the doors, you know, knocks on the door, opportunities, communication, blessings flowing in, gifts, everything you want in is here for the taking. And that's what the Nine of Cups is showing to you. So great power coming in. You create your dreams. You are magical and you're where you're meant to be. So be proud of that today. You know, the Knight of Cups is a card of emotion, power, love. It's about something moving towards you. Blessings flowing into your life. Someone returning to your life. Your person coming to you with the emotion that you've been seeking. And that's showing you that... You know, security, love, joy, bliss, happiness, money, success, wealth. All the riches you're dreaming of is coming in now. And this is because you're unlocking the door. And you're opening up to the truth of who you are, where you're going, what to do. Because you are powerful and strong like the Empress. So this is a great message for Twin Flames. You know, you are the Empress and you are the alchemist of your life. You are the creator of your life. You give birth to your dreams by nurturing your dreams, nurturing who you are and being good to you. So the angels are saying to you, as you move forward into the remainder of this year, be good to you. Follow your heart, follow your dreams, make sure you're breathing, you know, breathing life into things, meditating, using breath work to set you free, to bring magic in. Gratitude will also heal things for you and bring more in. And your happiness is guaranteed when you're in the light. So your 3D world is taken care of. You're giving life, you, you know, you're being life and you're living life. And you're flowing with life too. And they show me the waterfall in this card because things are flowing now. You know, you're giving birth to your dreams, magic coming in with success, power and love. And I feel for some of you, this is a big sign about family, you know, things getting better, especially around October time. I feel that's going to be the energy as you move into the magic of the festivities where blessings are flowing in. You know, dreams starting to come true, seeing the way forward, you know, reuniting with people, not just lovers, but people from the past. And I picked up on this for you yesterday. You know, healing things, reconciling with people, friends, family, lovers, anyone who, you know, has ever really mattered to you. I feel that you're healing things and you're forgiving the past. So you're walking away from what's gone and you're moving towards what is and you're finding the way forward. So real blessings flowing in for you, Aquarius, magic ahead. But believe our faith and trust in the power of who you are. Have a great day, sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.